everybody, this is Hashwiger. Welcome to part 5 of GUI programming with TK Inter. Um, from this part, I'm going to write inventory manager, as I said before. So <clears throat> we will practice also uh, writing GUI for it. And uh, also we will get uh, familiar with Shuttle module, which is uh, just a uh, high level file operation. And uh, so um, we will see uh, how it's going to be. Okay, first of all, let's uh, import our modules. Import PK inter uh, and time. I'm going to need it and uh, import TK inter dot message box and import shuttle. Uh, we create one class, class inventory, and this class have two types of attributes. Oh, itself and uh, for internal attributes which uh, we are going to use them for storing the data uh, for inventory manager as I said before uh, I'm not going to connect it to any kind of database uh, I've been thinking about it but I thought I think it's a little bit too much for like put everything together uh, so I'm going to use a simple list as a container and have some variables and after we can just write them on a text file as a um, CSV uh, and it's just to practice for to know how we can write uh, inventory manager without using anything we can also you I, I could also use a uh, dictionary but this is the way I just wrote my program maybe two years ago and uh, beside minor changes that I'm going to have during the tutorial, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, also, one difference between uh, what I'm going to write now and what I have in my GitHub is in GitHub, uh, it's just function-based uh, program, and now I try to, uh, we, we are going to just convert it to class, a very simple class. So for, For internal uh, attributes, uh, we need list, so self.container equals simple list, and we have self.name, which is just empty string, self.price will be also string because we are not going to calculate any integer here, self. Um, quantity will be also empty string and self.info of course will be string and after this is I think this is almost what we need we will see maybe we need more attributes and we can add them and uh, here we have uh, GUI attributes okay so let's create our main GUI the box self dot main window equal tk inter dot tk self dot main window dot title will be uh, inventory manager and at the um, uh, call the main uh, loop tk inter dot main loop All right and at the end we create one instance of the class inventory equal inventory and let's call it to main window where I'm wrong um, okay and typo here 
another type of main loop, not main loop. Okay. Okay. Now for this, we let me show you the original program. Uh, this is the or uh, uh, how it's going to be. So we need to have add, remove, load, save list, search, and load backup file, and save and exit uh, function. But I, I thought maybe I can uh, just remove the load uh, because anyway, we are not going to load the one item specific we, and, and we can do it actually with search if we want to find one item and everything else it will be uh, load all together as a list so <clears throat> uh, i need to create add remove save list search load backup and save and exit something like that so here we create the functions first and after we we'll take care of them uh, add item self and pass define um, remove item oh I'm not familiar with this keyword self um, and pass define uh, save item save item self define what we have list list items and self define search Pass and two more which are defined load backup file self and another one is save exit. Now, now we can um create our widgets and for this i think i'm going to have uh, two uh, frames top frame bottom frame and uh, and also and after we can uh, create the widgets and just pack pack them on the frames so now create top frame <coughs> Self dot top frame equal tk inter dot frame and where is it? It's of course on self dot main window and self dot top frame dot pack. Now I'll create a bottom frame self dot bottom frame equal tk inter dot frame and will be on self dot main window self dot bottom frame dot pack all right Let's check it if we don't have any typo. I don't have any typo. Okay. Now um, let's create the labels and entries. As you see here, for example, we have item, add item label. Here is item, and uh, for us will be add item. Uh, hold on a sec. So here we have item and item entry, price label, price entry, quantity label and entry information, entry and search entry. Um, so for 
five label, we need to have five entry. Uh, here, I'm going to write a comment, create item, hmm, item label and entry. So will be self dot item uh, label equal tk enter dot label on self dot top frame and text equal add item self dot item label dot pack side equal left self dot item entry equal tk enter dot entry and where it will be on self dot top frame and with equal 10 self dot item entry dot pack side equal left and we have add item and entry okay now let's do it for price create price label and entry self dot price label equal tk enter dot label and actually let's let me to copy and paste all these it's pretty much same and we just change the variables there so here is item label we make it price label and here add price and here packet item entry then will be price entry and here again price entry and pack to yeah good uh, then the next is create quantity label and quantity entry create the label and entry so we just can paste everything here and change it to um, uh, what we can call it just one Set the top frame add here um, just quantity all right and here uh, instead of item label will be quant label and self dot quant entry and here again one entry good and next one is let me check one more time we have add item add price and quantity what was the next one search or a uh, quantity I don't remember let so let me check the original program it was item price quantity info and search 
Okay. Then here, create info label and enter it. And again, we just oh, no, copy everything here. And um, what we call it, we call it info label. Info label. And here, information. Um, what we can call it information. Or just call it info. Info. It doesn't matter. And here again, info and info and here info. So we are almost done with entry and labels. The last one is oh, uh, create search label and entry. And that obviously will be search. Search and nothing here to change. Here is just again search and same goes for here. Good. Now we have add item price quantity info and info. Okay, the yeah, we have to here change it to search. Okay. Now we have search. Now we need to take care of the buttons. Da, da, da. And buttons will we put them on bottom frame. Um, let's comment create buttons so okay let's uh, let's uh, finish here I think it's a little bit long and next video we continue with uh, creating the buttons and after we going to uh, write the functions and the actual programming uh, or, or uh, like actual programming work will start then thank you for watching and please subscribe if you like the video and i see you in next video thank you